Hey guys, welcome back to a Gearhead for Life. Today we'll be going over an external oil primer for LS Motors. Uh, we'll be testing it out on the 5.3 that's going in the 87 Chevy truck. Uh, the reason we use an external oil primer with an LS motor is because it's not like an old small block Chevy where you can stick uh, a shaft down the back where the distributor is to prime the oil pump and fill up the engine. These, the oil pump, is mounted on the crank. And so you can't really turn it to prime the system. Some people don't really worry about it and just depend on the assembly lube. Uh, with the engine that's been sitting in the junkyard for a while and the oil may have drained out, they just take a chance and just crank it up. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, to prime the engine before you run it. I'm just saying it's an option. And so uh, I took it as an interesting project to go ahead and make this external oil primer to see how it would work, if it would work, what would come out. So now I have an option. I have the option when I get another engine if I could just, just want to just crank it or I could prime it before I crank it. So today is actually the first time we're going to use it. We're going to test it out and see how it works. Before we do that though, let's take a closer look and I'll show you what I used to build it. At the end of this video, I'll also show you all the pictures as I built it and the pieces that I used. Uh, it's made out of PVC pipe, large PVC pipe with caps on the end. At the top, I used, uh, these are the cheap old cast uh, fittings. This one is just a plug in there. This is where I'll fill the oil at fill into the container. I'm not sure how much oil it holds yet either. I'm hoping close to five quarts or so. We'll find out today. And then these fittings here are from Harbor Freight. It's the first the air pressure regulator and then a fitting on top to hook up to an air hose. So what I'll do is hook an air hose here, control the pressure here of how much pressure I want to put into the engine. It'll put that air pressure in the container and push the oil out the bottom. Another fitting here at the bottom. Just using a regular air line here, we'll see how it holds up. And then it comes, we'll go into the block. What I use here, I just took out one of these plugs, I had an extra one, drilled the center, and tapped it to fit onto the air fitting that's on the end of this hose. Got a bag on it right now to keep it from leaking in places. But, um, so what I'm going to do right now is we're going to remove this plug, thread this line into it, fill it up with oil, and see how it works. We'll start by taking the block plug out. Uses the Allen head. That's what it looks like. And then, I, as you can see, I have the same plug here on the end of my hose. Just drilled out. tapped for the air fitting. Let's thread it into the block. One thing that may probably would have helped is to have some type of spinning swivel here so it doesn't turn the whole hose. I cut two flat edges, two flat sides, so that I can grab it with a crescent wrench like this. Normally it's round on the outer side. Cut a flat side here, flat side here, and now my crescent will reach around it. Snug it down, not too tight, just good and snug, so it's not leaking. Uh, as y'all saw earlier, there's a valve on the bottom of the tank. It's closed right now, so it won't start pushing anything once I hook the hair up until I turn the pressure up. We'll go ahead and fill the tank with oil now. Maybe we'll find out the hard way how much it holds. That is all five quarts. Looks like it took it. Plug it back in. Now we'll hook up the air. All right, we've got air on top of it. Now what I'll do here is pressurize the container by opening the regulator. It's at zero pounds right now. You can't read that gauge from here. We're up to 10, well, just under 10. That right there is 20 pounds. I think 20 pounds would be, probably be fine. Probably plenty actually. 
Now all I do is open the valve on the bottom. It's pushing into the system. Watch the gauge in the left corner there. As it's pushing the oil into the motor, you can read the pressure there on the oil gauge. See it's holding the pressure that we set it at. Actually, I don't expect it to hold the same as the air pressure here. Until it pushes out all five quarts into the uh, engine. This is going to keep on pushing. One thing that I need is some type of sight glass to see how much oil is left in the engine. Or excuse me, in the cylinder. So that way I know I'm getting low on oil. So I don't start pushing air into the block. Just cranked it up there a little bit to see what would happen. Turn back down. While it's also priming, I'm going to rotate the crank. Slowly. Don't get the oil in other passages, they may not be open. I'm going to also take off the uh, valve cover so we can watch the oil run off the rockers. You can see the oil making it to the top on most of the push rods. So the oiling system has been primed. Right now we're just pushing the rest of the oil from the container into the motor. What I'm going to do is go ahead and cut it off early rather than making sure that doing that right there to avoid pushing air into the engine because I know the whole system's full now so what I'll do with the rest of the oil is just push it into the valve cover until I get some type of side glass something to let me know when I'm low on oil in the container alright guys that's it hope you enjoyed the show that is the external oil primer on the LS motor home how to DIY stand by for pictures of the build We'll